guys, so today's video is going to be a tutorial on my everyday eye makeup. Now this makeup look includes a lot of things from the drugstore, so that means that these products are easily available and a lot cheaper than the makeup that you would find in Sephora. Also, this is not just an eye makeup look that I use on an everyday basis, but I also use this look when I just can't think of anything else to wear, or just when I really need something that is quick and easy. Now let's get on with the tutorial. Okay, so I already applied all of my face makeup, which I'll list in the description bar below. And the first thing I'll be doing is taking this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original. And I struggle like that because I tried getting all the extra product out by ruining the packaging. But anyways, I'm going to take this little spatula I kept to apply the primer all over the eyelid and even up to the brow bone because we'll be applying eyeshadow up there as well. And then just blend it out with your fingers. Next, I'm going to be taking this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Yogurt, and I'm just going to apply it straight from the pencil all over my eyelid, focusing mostly on the inner corner and the center of the eyelid. Next, we're going to be taking this Wet n Wild eyeshadow trio called Walking on Eggshells, and the first thing we're going to do is take this bottom eyelid shade which is this pinky sparkly champagne color, and then use the Sigma E55 brush to apply that eyelid shade all over where we applied the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, which is basically all over the eyelid. Now, these two products are pretty much the exact same color, so that's why I chose to use them together, and it's just going to brighten and intense this eye look even more. Okay, next I'm going to be using that middle crease shade in the palette, which is this dark sparkly brown. And then I'm going to be using the MAC 224 brush to apply that crease shade, mostly in the outer corner and in the crease of the eye. Now in this video, I applied a little bit too much of that crease color in the inner corner, but that's okay, you can just kind of blend it out. While applying this color, I sort of was blending at the same time. Next, I'm going to apply this Inglot Matte Eyeshadow in 353 using the Sigma E70 brush to apply it underneath my brow bone. Now, I love using this trick not only to brighten underneath the brow bone, but also conceal a little bit and also blend that crease shade even more. Now, you don't have to use this exact shade, but use a matte shade that matches your skin tone. And also, I'm using a matte shade because the look is already super shimmery, so I wanted to use a matte shade to sort of balance it all out. Next I'm going to be taking the Sigma E40 brush with absolutely no eyeshadow on it and I'm just going to blend it all over this entire eye look, focusing mostly on blending out that crease shade. Just keep blending, just keep blending. <laughs> I usually have that stuck in my head while I'm doing this step. For the eyeliner, I'm going to be taking the Smashbox Jet Set Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in the shade Midnight Mahogany, which is basically a dark brown shade, and I'm going to be using the Sigma E65 brush to apply the eyeliner to my upper lash lines. Now I know that here it looks like I'm literally applying invisible eyeliner, but I swear I'm applying eyeliner. It just it looks a lot thicker in person than it does on camera. Next, I'm going to curl my eyelashes, and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. eyelash curler. And I also want to mention that I hate how most YouTubers don't mention the brand of eyelash curlers they're using in their videos. I'm really nosy and like to know what cool brands they're using and which ones are good. The final step for the eyes is to apply mascara, and I'm using the Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara, but you can use any mascara that you want. This is just the one that I happen to have on hand. 
Also for this look, I wouldn't recommend applying false eyelashes because this is an everyday eye makeup look and we're keeping it natural here. The last step in this entire tutorial is to apply lipstick, and I'm going to be using Max Angel. Now, pretty much everyone and their mother knows this lipstick or owns this lipstick, so we're simply just going to apply it to the lips. Now, I would recommend for this look either using a nude or light pink lipstick or lip gloss. I mean, you can use red lipstick or a bright lipstick if you want for a more dramatic or night out look, but I'm just going to keep it natural here. And here's the final look, all finished. I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Now keep in mind that with not only this tutorial, but with any tutorial, you can always switch it up to however you want or whatever makeup you wear. For example, you can put some eyeshadow on the lower lash line. I didn't do that in this video, but you can always do that. Or even wear no eyeliner, which I actually do most of the time. So change it up, do whatever you want. This is just some inspiration for you guys. I hope you guys have a really awesome day. Bye guys.